this is the apparatus we're going to be using. It's sized so that one psi of pressure equals one pound of force. Also, we're pushing down on a piece of rubberized material and you can see the 12 inch gap between the two steel braces, which is what we would normally use. Then as we keep pressing down, you'll notice that at 500 pounds, that's a 2,000 pound animal standing on all four feet. So we'll keep going a little bit and then we'll go down to 1,000 pounds. That's a 4,000 pound animal standing on all four feet. And then we'll keep going and we'll just see how much we can take here. And I believe on this one, we're probably gonna to get to about 1,700 pounds before the rubberized material breaks. Here's the rubberized material that we pressed. You can see the crack where it broke at about 1,700 PSI. We've got a piece of the polycleat material in here. We'll be pressing down, doing the same test with the same apparatus. And we've come to 500 pounds. You can see there's a little bit of deflection, about the same as the rubberized material. We'll go on down to 1,000 pounds. There's your 4,000 pound animal. And then we'll just keep going until the jack quits pushing. And I think you'll see that we'll get to about 1,700 or 1,800 pounds, uh, maybe 1,900, and that's all this little jack will do but there's no way you're gonna break the uh, polycleat flooring. Here's our polycleat material after 30 minutes. You can see there's a little bit of a depression if you noticed it as it went by. There is no damage to the part. In case you were wondering why we can make the polycleat material at less than half the weight of the rubber, it's all in the materials. Here's a piece of the rubber material. It snaps like a cookie. Now we'll put a piece of the polycleat material. I've gotta use a vise and a wrench to bend this stuff. And I think you'll see the difference that you cannot break the polycleat material.